Are the Niners set at quarterback? I mean, how can you say no at this point? It's unbelievable to me that the pro- you know, look, the game has always been a processing game, Dan. I mean, and you've got an elite processor, 23-year-old elite processor, and that's you watch it every weekend. But how do you uh, know you have that? I always call it, it's like Star Wars. I always say it's the force. You know, when Obi-Wan Kenobi turns to Luke Skywalker, says, you have the force. And everyone goes, well, what is that? Because it's indescribable. It's this thing that we just talked about. The brain and the ability and the anticipati- anticipation, the timing and the sense. And it's like a guile. It's a, it's a, and that's why I say it's the force. Like the kid has the force. And, uh, and people, you know, that's why he wasn't, why did you get drafted the last guy in the draft? Because the force is hard to judge. You're just not sure. And, and look, I always say that even Brock doesn't know it until he does it. And then he, and then, you know, kind of wrote, it's a revelation for everybody. And that's true for anyone in the NFL. It all comes to you because, you, you know, you can say, oh, I'm great. I know I can do it. Yeah, and you're not really until you do it. And then it all kind of makes But I obvious. maintain that he had a harder time. He had to throw people open in college where some of these other quarterbacks probably played with, you know, C.J. Stroud. He didn't have to throw anybody open. Brock Purdy had to throw people open at Iowa State. So he might have been ready. You make the point that Brock is going to have to, he's not the prototype. The prototype is Jalen Hurts, C.J. Stroud, who is just, I think, is, is everyone doesn't understand when you watch the tape, he is ahead of the game. He is an anticipatory thrower. Like that's when you know someone's going to get better and better and better because they have that gift. Yeah. So those are the, Brock can't throw it as late as, as C.J. can, as late as Jalen can. Because his arm, it's like it's different. So he has to do it in a more, even more guileish way. I don't know if that's a word, but like he has to actually be ahead. And that's why he's gotten into trouble in the three losses where the ball's coming out. He had the ball has to come out, and that's one of his gifts. But it has to come out so fast and early in the in anticipation that it's like it hasn't fully developed, and where the other guys can hang for the extra quarter of a second. They can watch for a little bit longer, and then they can get out of the pocket. Stiff arm a defensive lineman, get out and throw it 60 yards. So Brock's going to have to do it like it, like if, if CJ or, or Jalen's going to take three steps, Brock's going to take five. But he's going to be so efficient and good at it that he's instead of, you know, he's going to be five for five, where the other guys have to be three for three. So that's just a fact. And he's going to have to do that in the biggest games. And he's going to have to do it coming from behind. The NFL today, Dan, every game it feels like comes down the last couple of possessions of the fourth quarter. Yeah. That was never the case before. It was always more st- uh, stodgy, more uh, thick. It was like you couldn't make that big vicissitudes of scoring, like back and forth. It's like the NBA today. You And you've got five guys in the league or six that you give the ball in the hands in the last couple of drives and they will get it done. And, uh, and Brock needs to constantly work extra to be one of those guys. But I think he can.